guys, welcome back to JK Fishing. Today, we're out here for a nice evening trip. Uh, we're out here with Michael Taranko. He's gonna be uh, showing us what to do. He's a uh, pretty good fisherman. He's caught plenty of salmon. He knows what he's doing. And uh, we'll see what we can get on to. So uh, stay tuned for the fishing. Right now, nice, this was on the uh, on the down rod. The other side, actually. Here, here, the here. Move the flat line to the other side. Yeah. Okay, yo, uh, take your flat line out. Someone take Johnny. your flat line out. I'll grab the flat line. I'll grab. What's up, Joe? Johnny, just keep an eye on the. Here we are. Yeah. If you want, turn on the other camera, Johnny. Huh, big one, this, Joe, no, or? Is, it's this. a small one. Okay. Nice it's. I'd give it. I'm not. I'm not gonna say. Look at. Look at the. I hope this hook doesn't come out of his mouth, eh? Because he's been. On, he's gonna be on top most of this fight. Speed lower. Yeah. I'm gonna go down. Tighten like, you know, on the drag a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. He's gone. He's tired. Joe's hooked up again. Real. Uh, Michael's gonna fight this one because, uh. Oh. Are they wrapped? I think they're wrapped. Might be wrapped. Yeah, the other yeah. rod got wrapped. Real joke. Yeah, no, they're wrapped. Donnie, back up. He doesn't know the weight. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, there we go. There we are. Five. You got the Roslyn? <laughs> How far is he? Uh, a hole two feet. A hole two twenty and a hole gone. That's the depth right now. But a uh, bunch of other guys though. And Michael Spoon just again. Right? It's the same one. It's the same rod. It's I'm the sorry. one that I just changed to. Yeah. Oh, it's a different one than the first yeah. So right now we're in 172 feet of water. Water's 55 degrees and we're trolling about 2.75 miles an hour. Seems to be our average yeah. speed. So he's getting in close now. Reach out there. It's like a Step on the water and see there. Good color. Yeah. 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 This is the finished product of it. Just taking out all the guts and the bloodline along there, you can rip that out so the meat is a little bit better. We like to get our fish because when we fillet them, we don't like getting the scraps everywhere and it makes it a lot cleaner. Well guys, we're gonna be heading in now. We're gonna show you how to fillet the fish. But before we go, we just wanna say a huge thanks to Mike. Uh, he put us on two fish. I lost one of them as I always do. Um, I'll have his Instagram handles below. He's a really good fisherman. Uh, he's been fishing this area since he was like four, so uh, definitely check him out. Um, yeah, we'll see you at the fillet table. Uh, if you have our salmon here, this is about a pound and a half of salmon. We tried to fillet it last night, but the lighting was bad because we got in at such a late time. So we couldn't get that on camera for you, but I'm still I'm going to show you my favorite recipe for salmon. Very simple. You don't need many ingredients, and it tastes pretty good. So the first ingredient that you're going to want is maple syrup. Doesn't have to be the most expensive type. I'm just going to pour about a third of a cup in, a third of a cup for every pound or so of fish. Just like that. And you know, a lot of people ask us why eat these fish out of Lake Ontario. With salmon, a lot of the things you realize, they only live for three years mainly. And so they can only consume so many different types of bait fish and so many bait fish in that period of time that they won't have too much mercury and we do not eat this on the daily and we do not eat too much of it so 
honestly the benefits outweigh the cost next you're just going to add a little bit of maple syrup a couple tablespoons that's soya sauce soya sauce yep my bad and you're just going to pour it into your maple syrup just like that and next what you're going to add is the garlic the garlic so you have the sweetness and the saltiness and the maple syrup but i like the garlic because it gives it a little bit of like a, uh, a kick to it you know it's a nice flavor to add we just three cloves of it put it in our little garlic press and press it over scrape that off and there you go and then next just a little bit of pepper not too much obviously if you like a lot of pepper you can add a lot of it just gonna sprinkle some of that into the mix and then you're just gonna want to mix it up really good make sure that you mix it up well so the soy sauce and the maple syrup and the garlic all blend together instead of having the separation because they're different densities otherwise it'll stay separated and different pieces of fish will get more of different types of ingredients so once you have that in your cup you're just gonna want to drizzle it over all the salmon And make sure that we will flip this eventually, but we're gonna put it in the fridge for a little bit and let it soak. Make sure that you get it all over it, so don't be afraid to mix it around, even flip them over. And now we're ready to go to the oven. The oven's being preheated to 375, and we're gonna show you how we cook it in the oven. So the oven just finished. We had it set to 375 for 23 minutes. So I'm just gonna go ahead and turn it off. We're gonna take it out. There we go, there's our salmon. You gotta make sure that you don't wanna put it in too long. If you're on that sometimes, you know, 22 or 21 minutes, depending on the sizes of the fillets. Because if you put it in too long, salmon has a tendency to get dry, especially if it's a bigger fillet. So we're gonna go put this on a plate and we'll show you guys a taste test. So guys, now it's time to eat it and I'll tell you my honest opinion on what I think about it. I just have it paired up, the salmon with some broccoli and some Caesar salad, pretty simple to make. And before I eat it, I'm just gonna show you guys something. This is why we bleed out fish. Even after we bled it out, there's still a pretty thick bloodline on the salmon. So imagine how thick it would be if we didn't bleed it out. Obviously, if you have more fish, like bigger salmon, you could obviously cut the bloodline out and always make sure to cut the bloodline out if you're gonna freeze fish, otherwise the meat will all spoil. So here it goes. This salmon, one thing that I noticed about it, we cooked it in the oven and it was sitting in the juice the entire time so it's not that dry. And if you guys are realizing that the salmon is dry, you can always have some of the leftover marinade that you have that in the pan in the oven and just pour that on it. And in my opinion, I think this is very good, very delicious. This is my favorite way to prepare salmon because it has the sweetness of the maple syrup yet it gives you gives you a nice savory flavor with the garlic and soy sauce. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, make sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. And we'll see you next time on JK Fishing.